this is one of the interview question a you see is one of the interview question got it so anyone tell me what is a you see and how the internal order settlement will be happened if you interview ask you so how you can tell anyone at least you say something whether it is correct or wrong anyone here to say okay kishor you say now you got to know some idea right what is internal order settlement and all say something on this yeah settlement of aic through internal order right you are asking yeah just know what i discussed huh? just explain in your words whether it is correct or wrong uh, just say something you can get you can settle the aic through internal order or ws elements are also without internal order ws we can settle the aic without internal order we can settle the aic by giving the distribution rule in aibt code and so we can settle the last the uh, settlement done through aibut code okay through internal order through internal order if you want to settle the aoc first we need to create the internal order using ko01 oh. the mm -hmm. order type will be investment order okay later later we need to book the all the expenses in internal order when we are booking the expenses we need to give the order internal order number there the order order tab okay later we need to after completing of the entire asset uh, process of the aoc we need to settle the same to the final asset mm -hmm. so we need to settle the AOC, uh, aoc through ko08 ko88 okay. okay 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 yeah like you know uh, so so before what are the prerequisites uh, while settlement what we need to do first yeah file in asset class if you want to settle through internal order we need to give investment measure tab in asset class okay okay if you don't for want AUC to settle through internal order for asset under for asset only which one we need to give for auc okay okay so if you want if you don't want to settle through internal order we need to give settle uh, the tab the radio button on line item settle okay then you can directly settle mm hmm so for settlement uh, without internal order what is the t code generally used yeah you need to give the distribution rule for, rule first what okay. are the receiver what are the receiver so a a i a b is the t code there okay any settlement rule is required for uh, uh, without internal order or with internal order or with uh, wbs wbs uh, uh, where we need to create a settlement rule not through ws ws element i don't know much in wbs uh, see in wbs there is a settlement rule also there i show you right just now cj03 ha huh. see in cj20 uh, let me show Okay, can you see my screen, right? Okay. Yes, yes. So you just take any WBS, uh, or else you just go to uh, one table is there for uh, specifically WBS, ERPS. Okay, just execute. Remove this 500 and just execute. Okay, and take the current one. okay so this is one wbs so just to click on this and uh, just to copy and paste over here um just go and execute see these are all wbs elements okay so wbs generally used for the project cost capturing see what are the expenditure what are the revenue is there for the particular project happened for the particular project that should be captured through wbs only so you want to look at this wbs select this and click on this so here we can see 
this is one kind of WBS, right? So status is the status you want to see. This is released status and order is also accepted. Okay. And here you can see the settlement rule also there. So you can also give the settlement to sender and receiver settlement percentage also. Okay. And assignments. So you know you want to capture um, this WBS, CEO, company code, business area, profit center, sort, uh, object class. So object class investment. Okay, plant, location, these are all things are there. Okay. So now what my question is in WBS alone, we can give the settlement rule. Okay. You got it right? What I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Now, what are the prerequisites uh, for uh, what are the prerequisites for uh, create uh, settlement of this AUC? The first thing is you need to create asset class first. Then we create a final asset. So these are all asset classes we need to create uh, like building asset class and the AUC asset class. Then you need to create a final asset. For uh, like you know building asset uh, uh, you need to create and AUC asset uh, you need to create through AS01. Then create the internal order. See, first you need to create a master data. Who will create the master data in real time? So AUC uh, will be created by FI and users or master data team. We have separately. Any errors will come at the time of AUC creation. So we are solely responsible. Asset master creation solely responsible by your end users. So like asset class will be created by FI concept. Final asset will be asset. Uh, final asset will be created by your. Who will create final asset? End users. Your internal order will be created by end users or business or master data team. Okay, so this is master data we need to create first. Right. Then, so then create internal order. Okay, then you need to assign the budget. So, so you need to assign, you need to write the budget first, internal order. Then assigning this budget. KO double two. So how the settlement will be happen without internal order? AIBU is the T code. With uh, internal order, KO double eight is the T code. Like if you are uh, using, you want to calculate the project cost and you want to settle in month end. So settlement will happen every month. The T code is CJ double eight. CJ double eight. So uh, like with the internal order settlement, the T code is KO double eight. Okay. Without internal order, the decode is ABU. So, what is the MM flow? Tomorrow, interview will ask you. So, tell me how the MM flow for AUC settlement. How the MM flow will be happen for the AUC settlement? So, first of all, we need to create a purchase order with internal order. And assignment, you need to take asset AUC asset A. Right? Uh, see. Uh, do you know? Account assignment assignment tables in purchase order. I will show you. I think EKK. Just to go and check EKK. Okay, account assignment in the purchase order document. Just double click on this. Okay, just take the recent one. Okay, see this is a business area. What is the account assignments? Profit center is there. Network. Okay. This is WBS. So you want to give internal order or WBS? Anything. If you want to capture the project, then you need to give the WBS. Okay, so you take this purchase order. This is created in 2015. You take this purchase order, go to ME 21M. Okay. And uh, give this purchase order. All this has been created.
see here it is taken P. P means what? It's a project. Okay. And what is this D? See, you want to create a purchase order with WBS, you need to take D is for service oriented. And if you want to create an asset, okay, you need to take asset A. A for asset. Okay. So uh, if you are if you are creating A, you see, then take A. Okay. If you are creating WBS for project, you take P. Okay. So here also some of the like uh, assignments are there. Let me check P and A. Where is that? Orders. So this is one internal order. Okay. Some cost is booked through internal order, right? So you can also check like this. So it will take more time to open this. See here in the account assignment. So if you take project, you need to give the WBS. Okay. So then you do Migo and then you, you can uh, perform Miro, then payment, then you can set it. This is the process. But if you are if you are doing asset under construction, you need to take A. A. Okay. So A. You need to take A. And you need to take a GL. And the business area and internal order you need to specify instead of WPS. Okay. So you need to specify cost object. So this is the overall process. So MM flow first create the AUC with the internal order. Okay, then release the release this uh, purchase order ME 29N. So these things will be done by your MM consultant. So this Migo, any kind of errors at the time of creation of this, like any GL related, assignment related, we are solely responsible. Then post the invoice, Miro. Then do the payment. These two things are we are solely responsible. If accounting document is not generated the Migo, we are responsible. Any amounts related, any um, GL related, we are solely responsible. So then the entries will come like this. Okay, at the time of KO8 double H settlement, this entry. At the time of booking the expenditure, then this entries. Okay, so at the time of your creation of EUC asset class, you need to take investment measure first. Okay, so when you are taking investment measure in AUC, so either you need to settle uh, with the internal order or WBS. These things you can say to the interviewer at least. So your uh, interview will be over in uh, 10 or 15 minutes. This is one of the interview question. At least to say these steps. Explain the steps. That's enough. Okay, very important question asset, uh, 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 in assets. Why I taking directly this asset on construction? Tomorrow the interview will ask me this question only. And I will tell you asset class and uh, what is asset class, what is depression key, depression measure, smoothing catch up. Those things we already discussed. But uh, anyhow, I will take separate sessions uh, tomorrow for uh, what is asset, what is uh, depression key. These are all things are basically related. This is advanced one. Advanced. Okay, very advanced. So guys need to follow this. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. We'll continue tomorrow.